guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefined Horizons, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to put together a field package for a boundary survey in AutoCAD Civil 3D. So you'll see some other videos in this playlist that show you how to do that in Inkscape, and I also did a, a set of videos on how to put together a field package for a topo survey in AutoCAD Civil 3D, but I haven't done one yet on how to do a field package for a boundary survey in AutoCAD Civil 3D. So I wanted to do that, show you guys how to do that. <clears throat> I also updated my uh, my field package templates a little bit for CAD. So I want to show you some of those changes too. So I've got open here is my template drawing that I use to uh, put these boundary survey plans together. Uh, so this is just, this is the main part of the package. There's other things that go in the package like the filed survey maps and the stakeout coordinates for the search points and the punch list and the checklist. But in this case, uh, I'm just, in this video, I'm just showing you how to put together the, the survey plan. So the, the survey plans are the 11 by 17 exhibits that I send out with the field crews. Excuse me. Okay, so when you open the template, there's actually two drawings. There's one for sheet one and then there's one for the, the other map sheets. So when you open the drawing for sheet one and open the paper space tab, uh, you can see that this is the title sheet that goes out with the plan. It's got my standard set of notes. Uh, it's got a table for existing control and search points. And then it just kind of gives you an overall view of, of the site with some road names. And so we're going to work on this sheet first. This will probably be one video and then we'll do a, do a second video to, to do the other sheets, the kind of the detail sheets. So this stuff comes in with a template, and I'm going to leave it for now. What we want to do is go over to our geolocation tab on the ribbon, and we're going to turn on the street map because we need to, uh, the road map, we need to find our new site. So it's uh, over in Menlo Park. So let me see if I can find Menlo Park. I'm still learning my way around a little bit. Okay, it's over here by the Stanford Golf Course. Let's see, I know I'm close here. So here's my site. I'm working in this block here. So once you find out where you're at, you can switch back to the aerial view. And then what we want is we want a nice overall image. So this is going to be zoomed out a little more than, than the image that we'll get for our detail sheets. And we're going to hit Capture Area. And we're just going to grab a block of that, rectangle of that image. Then we can turn this off. And we want to make sure we grab this image and put it on our image layer, which is V, GISD, GIS data image. Okay, and then uh, what we want to do after that is we want to come in and make, make sure our scale is going to work. So I'm going to come over here to the uh, paper space tab, activate the viewport. I'm going to zoom extents. Then I'm going to zoom into my site. We're just going to try and find a scale that works here. So we'll try one over 100 first. One inch equals 100 feet. And that looks pretty good. I'm usually at 1 to 100 or 1 to 200 on these. I'm going to back that out a little bit. I'm going to go 1 to 200 just to give the field crews a little more context. Okay, so now that we know that we're 1 to 200, uh, we can come over here and uh, we want to just outline our block and get our street names. So I'm just going to grab this text so I have it, street text. Okay, and then this, let's see. Yeah, this should be 20. Okay, and then I'm going to just draw the outline of our block here so the guys know roughly uh, the block that we're interested in. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's make sure that's on the right layer. It's not. It should be on... Uh, the exhibit parcel. 
Okay, and then we're going to use the T orient command to get our text oriented along our street here. And let's uh, make sure we use the right street names here. So this is Sherman Avenue. And we'll make a copy of that text. Run the tOrient command again. This is Santa Cruz Avenue here. And we'll throw a couple more on. One here. We'll put one over here. So... This is Abbey Avenue. So we'll line that up. And let's see. This is Orange Avenue. So we're just trying to get the field crews oriented with these street names. Excuse me. All right, so we got our street names in there. We've identified our parcel. That looks good. I might slide this down a little. Uh, okay, so I don't have any uh, survey grade stakeout on this one. So, actually, you know what I do? I do have some found mods, so we'll leave that for now. Um, I don't have any existing control out here on the site. So we're going to delete this table. And we're going to move this one over. Actually, I want to, I got, I don't have the right table in here. I've got a search table. Let's go steal it. I know where we can we can find it. It just save us a little bit of time here. All right, sorry about that guys. <clears throat> this is the table I should have had in. Search area details. So we're actually going to come back. We'll edit this table when we get done laying out that uh, that other sheet. All right. Sorry about that, guys. This is the table I should have had in. <clears throat> search area details. And we're actually, we'll come back and edit this in the search priority when we get to the second sheet and start laying out uh, where we want to look for monuments. But we can um, edit this other information in our title block and we'll come in and tweak our standard notes here so uh, we want to update the title of this and update the city is uh, Menlo Park county is San Mateo Today is the 22nd. <clears throat> Scale is 1 to 200. Okay. Then we want to come in and update our notes. So we're going to say purpose of the survey is to create a final resolved boundary for the subject parcel. So we're not reviewing easements on this one, not mapping easements. So let's turn on our uh, text align layer here. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, then we want to tell the guys how we want them to do their control. 
I don't have existing site control here, so I'm gonna delete the uh, delete this. We're gonna say uh, set one azimuth pair and a check shot using the uh, using RTN slash RTK GNSS methods. Set additional control as needed using direct reverse total station observations. Check new control from at least two existing control points. Okay, so that's how we want them to do the control. I normally do fast static, but for what we're doing, uh, RT and RTK will be fine. Uh, it'll be fine to get us oriented. We're going to be holding the observations from the gun for most of our control. All right, then we've got methods for property corner ties. Drop that down one more row. Just having a hard time getting that to uh Snap to the right spot here. Sorry about that, guys. There we go. Okay, so found property monument, found property corner monuments can be tied using direct reverse total station observations. RTK GNSS survey methods with three minutes observations made at two minutes time of the day can also be used for offsite. Okay, so I don't have anything offsite, and I really don't like using RTK RTN for boundary, so I'm going to remove that. Uh, we're just going to tell them to shoot those with the total station. We're going to say tie property corners front uh, corner monuments one setup one control point whenever possible. All right. <clears throat> Note on uh, note on site access. So no access to private parcels will be needed for the field survey. Uh, all work will be in the right of way of public streets. Contact. Landon Blake in the Lathrop office with any questions about site access. Okay, so site access shouldn't be a problem on this one. Excuse me, I'm coughing and sniffling. Okay, so we're just going to move this up, the project site location, and we'll go ahead and update that. Ooh. So, this is uh, 1990 Santa Cruz Avenue, and it is in... Menlo Park, California, and it looks like I got six digits on that zip code. Let me pull up the uh, the address real quick so I can get the right zip code. We'll save our drawing while we're doing that. Okay, so the zip code is 94025. All right, 
So we'll go ahead and turn off this text line layer. So the notes are up to date. So the only thing we should need to come back and change on our map is the search area details. And uh, we'll we'll let the field crew know field crew know what our search priority is. So I'm gonna just save this drawing for now, but we're not gonna close it because we got to come back and make those changes. And uh, what we're gonna do now is we'll open uh, we'll open sheet two and we'll we'll lay out some of the important details of our boundary survey. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and do that in uh, second video because uh, we're we're way over ten minutes. I'm about sixteen minutes. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, we'll catch you in the, in the second video where we uh, edit the uh, set up and edit the second sheet for our boundary survey plan. Thanks for watching.